Hello and welcome, my name is Nilaus and this is episode 25 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio with Boss Mod and Angels Mods. First, and maybe foremost even, I'd like to thank everyone for the overwhelming support I've had for this and the other series. And I think that's uh, that's really come as a surprise. You always hope that you'll get some positive feedback and someone will watch it. And that's been, that's been actually been happened. So on with today's show, uh, last time we actually dove into... Ugh, I can't find anything. Circuit, 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 circuits. That one. That's the one. I call circuit boards. The phenolic board and then the circuit board. So that's created. I changed the name. However, what I've also been doing since last time, we had some alien attacks. I'm building this thing. And similarly over here and up here. Basically, a wall, lots of turrets. In these cases, oops, sorry for the excessive scrolling. In this case, also a belt ferrying... Uh, uh, ammunition back and forth <clears throat> and now it's the time for the next so let's dive into today's agenda we are going to continue onwards towards the electronic circuit board part of this we have the circuit board yes solder we can create that yes basic electronics board, we all can also create that I'd actually put that in a separate um, unit soon but the transistors that is by far the worst one of these so this requires plastic bar. I don't have much of those. I, some time ago, I shut down the transfer of plastics to batteries because that was basically eating up all of them. Tin cover wire is known. Uh, silicon wafer, that's the problem. So let's look at the silicon wafer. Silicon wafer comes from silicon plate. Silicon plate comes from calcium chloride and quartz. So the quartz I need to get up and the calcium chloride. If we go with the calcium chloride, Ugh, where is it? There. Comes from stone and hydrogen chloride gas. So those are some annoying things. The hydrogen chloride gas, I can get that from saline water. Should not be a big deal. I can get that. Well, stone, we can bring it up as we need it. And the quartz is another matter. So I need stone up there and I need the other thing is quartz. So I actually was contemplating getting started on the quartz. I have like 51 and about 10k here and about 10k here. So let's pipe this out and get uh, get it up there. I could just do that myself on my own, but honestly, lately I've been doing a bit too much in my own opinion. Uh, and I really think that I need to get back into the habit of doing most on screen. I just had a bit of idle time here and there that I spent on fixing some stuff. So we'll grab, grab this. Am I just, oh, I'm just, uh, <clears throat> okay, that's uh, not how it's supposed to be. And this one, I'll make that a near inserter. And for some reason, there's no coverage there, but we'll just do it like this. Similarly over here. Let's get these two, they will be covered. And this one, also a near inserter. Great, so that's what we have. I will then look up here. I should have room for it on this lane. Okay, come on. There we go. That's this lane here. Thank you, auto save. That'll keep me safe. Yes, always. Always miss it like that. Okay, and. Okay. And I will insert here again. So now we have the silicon coming upwards. I also need the iron coming up, or the stone actually. So this one should be able to get by. Oops, that like that. Here, pass it all the way up. It's actually going to be a problem if I also want the stone up there. What? Did I lose out? Uh, luckily I'm on the logistics one, so just grab 500 more. And we'll repair this as we go by. I did not leave the car somewhere. I have a tendency to always just leave the car at stupid places. Uh, luckily only in game and not in real life. That would really suck. And here we go. This is a lot of under underground belts and there. there 
right? And just zooming out here. Now this is running purely on the infinite. And I am contemplating whether I can just squeeze it a bit to get some actual working space here. But uh, that's, that's something for another time. And definitely something for off camera. All right, we are now up here. That's the one component we needed. Now I just need stone up here as well. <clears throat> and I can't make the calcium chloride without the stone, unfortunately. Let's go down and figure out where we have the nearest stone deposit. Ooh, it's not even. Why is it not even? That's actually a bit strange. Whoa! Oh, I always break instead of speed up. Yeah, that was close. <clears throat> Must be because one of them is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this one's shoveling out from two, but the other one's only getting from one. This one's running out soon. <coughs> Sorry. I actually need to pipe the stone all the way over there. That's really awkward, to be honest. I think I have stone down here. No, that's slag. Oh, my stone is converted into a massive amount of this. Okay, I'm pretty sure I had stone somewhere. There, I put some stone in, in a box. That one's converted, that one's converted. I probably have too much of this and not enough of this one, actually. Okay, hmm. So I could take it. I'm gonna take that up. And get out of the car, thank you. I hope I don't get to spend the entire episode just piping things along. And again, this one. Good. I will then need to... Here's that one. And let's get it out. Here, and I'll take some of them as near inserters. That's now near, that one, and that one. Great. <clears throat> we have the stone on the bus. It's only going to pass this way. I'm not going to have everything on every bus, but I will try to make sure that I get the uh, parts that I need. Here is also another problem, and that is something as critical as stone, or as... Uh, as coal is all not on the zone belt. Now we have two options. I have the easy one and the correct one. The correct one is using that path up here. Uh, but that path is kind of jammed with stuff. I can actually move it quite easy, I think. Okay, this is just taking a bit of Oops, uh, a bit of focus. And let's zoom in on this. This one, get out, that one. Hey, I need more of these, great. Let me also get more of these, not 500 just yet. And that one will then be an underground over there. Hmm, that's interesting. That one cannot be extended unless I just do this. Uh, why is that the case here? Okay, let's clean out the other one. How the hell do I do that? I'll just guess I have to do this. I really wanted to be able to use this belt. Uh, don't stand on the belt trying to redid the belts. And the next one goes down here. All right, let's see. This one goes again over here. Still working. I'll move this one up. What the hell are we doing here? I just want need to figure out what the hell I'm doing. There, there, that's reinstalling it. Whoop, that was not how I wanted it. All right, let's clean this up. <clears throat> Ideally, I could have left this but I can't.
This one needs to be cleaned out, I think. No. Uh, how do we do this? I think I need to, I need to get it out like this one. And then I can... There. Great. This one can then disappear again. Uh, we just created it, but now it's... All right, so that's actually coming in here. I also need to check if it's actually working. One thing is sort of at an overall level here. All right, this seems to be working, seems to be working. It's just that it seemed like really complicated and then we just fix it like relatively fast. <clears throat> Upwards again. So now I have eight belt, eight lanes here. The steel is not doing very well. That's uh, after starting to mass produce by uh, the ammunition, then that's really in trouble. And we're actually up to our third bus level thingy here. You can see here, this is where all the drain is. What's going on? Oh, that's actually interesting. That's my silly little thing here that is only grabbing for one side and I could actually get a hell of a lot more if I did it in a more intelligent way. I like this one, except it doesn't really work. Then I'd have to put a lane balancer on the other side of it. And I don't bother, not now. And we're up to the correct square. So let's get, is it coming through? Yes, it is. Excellent. So now we have our raw materials with one exception. And that is the water is not around here, but I can get the water pretty easily from the side. Let's try to get that in. <clears throat> that train was the ammunition train going up very convenient and let's see if we can build something one two oh I have oil out here that's really neat so let's see where we want it I want to make sure I don't interfere with the oil production where are those two here they are let's put them here and the reason we need to do two of these is just out of Sort of, let's just make sure that it pumps all it can during this one. And this is one that I really should have been building in a more rigid and structured manner, but I haven't, and I didn't. And boohoo, get on with it. So it has to pass through that area and get in here. I'm not able to drive it out at uh, at this point yet. Nope. Ah, this is almost perfect. So now we have all the raw materials. Let's start out in this lower left hand, lower right hand corner. I think I know what I'm missing. I need in this location. One, two, three. Do I have any? No, four. So this is where I'll be creating saline water. This is basically a replication of what I have in one of the other ones. <clears throat> the one we created last time because I also need hydrochloric acid at that point. At that point. Uh, where do we have them? Oh, it's because they are, okay, silly me, there, I really want to make sure that they're actually as far down as possible, uh, let me think, This is not going to work because they're not going to be aligned 
it'll have to be something like this. Because of course the outputs are not matching. This one is generating normal water and saline water. Saline water. Let's get some more of this. I don't, I, I'm already now kind of see that it's actually going to be a huge task. This one will definitely take more than one session. And this one needs to be, can I make it? Yes, I can. Yep. And let's try branching it in there, there there and there. They now have all the water they could wish for. And <clears throat> I do not have any of the clarifiers because I basically need to clarify away. I only want the saline water because saline water has to become chloride, hydrogen chloride. It's a bit ridiculous way of doing this. Can it be put out here? I could, but I shouldn't. I'll put it one here. I can also put one, can I put it in between? I could if, I think I can actually. Let's try it. So this one's connected and they're of course not powered, but they will be. Great. Now, let's see, these ones are connected. These ones are connected, these are connected, these are connected, and these are connected. That's all fine. So let's hook this one and that one. Let's hook this one with that. And this is the one that goes out into productivity. Let's hook up the power plants like so. Now everything is up and running. They are now producing so the water purification, even though that's it. They are just not clearing it fast enough. They're clearing really fast, but just not fast enough, actually. And if we look at these ones, they are slowly getting up there, but only when they're up to 100. Now, that's the next part. Now, I need to figure out how I make um, chlorine. It must be this one. I get, where is it? That's the one, that's the one I want to make. And that requires one of those dots with six things. That's an electrolyzer, I think. An electrolyzer, here. One, two, let's get two electrolyzers. They're gonna work on they're gonna output some, yeah, so, nope, they can't be like this because they are, they can't output next to each other. This, this will work. And again, we need ugh, pipes. I keep getting reminded that I really should have done this up front or actually even better have done it somewhere else. Right, so now I have hydrogen and chloride if I can just pipe it in here. And that I can. Here. And let's hook this one up. There. We now have hydrogen and chloride and we're missing one, two, one, two. Nope, can't be there, can't be there. I guess this is going to be an issue when these won't fill up, but I'll deal with that as it comes. Unfortunately, that's gonna come as a surprise, which is not ideal. Now I have my hydrogen, my hydrogen and my chloride, which just need to be put back together into hydrochloric acid or chlorine, chloride. What is it? It's this one, chlorine gas and hydrogen gas. That's in a good old fashioned this one. 
how fast does this speed produce and what is the speed? This is speed 1.5 years at producing at the lower one is 4. That's the cap, right? It's always the lowest one that sets the capacity. So this is 4 per 2 seconds. So with two of them, that's 8 per 2 seconds. And times 1.5 speeds, that's 12 per 2 seconds. So that's 6 per second. So if this one combines it, 6 per second. So it's not actually that many, it's three of these. That should do the trick. And again we have the issue of of uh, more pipes being needed. I will go like this, there. But we are progressing, that's for sure. We are definitely progressing, and it's actually progressing quite fast, and is my take. Now we have chloride gas. So let's calcium chloride. That's the one here. That's also that. What did I? What? I saw the stone. Oh, all right. So I can either do it with stone, or I can do it with with crushed stone. Calcium sulfate is not something I have. Um, I have no idea where I get calcium sulfate. Let's see, just want to see where it's calcium sulfate is. No. Nope, nope, nope. I have no clue. But let's go back to this one. So stone plus hydrogen gas, that means, and again, that has to go into one of these. Let's just see, this one is producing 10 per two seconds. That's a lot. Uh, this one is taking one and one second. That needs a hell of a lot more than that. Um, I'll just do something like, no, not something like that. Get a few more. Let's get it up and running. Where is it? Where is it? That one. Nope. That's the one. I'll get two, then I'll at least double it. Should be good enough for now. And we're back to this, this issue again. Oh, that's because they are consuming all of them. That would happen anyway. Now I need to get my stone in. Let's kind of sneak it in from the bottom here. So we're going to have to... These are ex exerters, if there's a word such as that. Imp and import will be the other ones. There. <coughs> What I am missing is actually a good way of doing this. Yep. These ones need to be N, N, and this one's just N. Copy, paste, paste, copy, paste, paste. So we now have output calcium chloride as soon as I hook this one up. That's the first thing being created. And it's actually working. I think maybe some of this might be scaled up too high. Oh, there's one more thing I need. I need the overflow valve. That's one of my favorite things in all of this. And the flare stack. So the overflow valve has to be on, actually on this one, because I want to do it at the end. Because this one is full and it's jamming. And I'll put it into a flare stack. We'll put that one here and get one corner and that'll flare stack it and then these ones will actually start producing again. I'll have a ton of these. And I had calcium chloride. Great. So now the question was what the hell did I need calcium chloride for? Well, calcium chloride, let's see, that's silicon. Silicon comes from calcium chloride. Carbon. Carbon comes from a bit of a, a strange process here. I need electrolyzers. Okay, let's uh, get some electrolyzers. This is definitely 
electrolyzer. There, I'll take five of these. Stone pipes. Stone pipes, that's interesting. All right, I'll set this one up here. I think that we will be, I think this is actually, uh, it is some achievement. I've, I've made calcium chloride. Woohoo. Uh, this is a, it's actually quite a neat thing. I will continue expanding this space uh, into the next part, which will be the silicon turning to silicon wafers, turning into again, transistors, and then we'll see if this all makes sense. So uh, I think I'll wrap this up now and I'll see you in the next episode. So thank you for joining. See you next time. Bye.